The reality of who we are is, is very simple. And that's why I was so attracted to this training, because it really gave me an uh, explanation of who we are actually are in a very simple way. Very simple, keeping it very simple. So in the Balanced You training, everything that we perceive, like our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, inner or outer related, everything basically that we can perceive, we call data. So just keep it very simple, putting it all under this, this um, description of data. And data are inseparable from open intelligence. Open intelligence is that that perceives everything, that that knows, that that knows and perceives that you, we are sitting now here, that that perceives that I'm speaking here. The, that ground of being is open intelligence that is always stable, it's always present. And we can introduce ourselves to that by just stopping thinking for a moment. When we try that, we realize that there's something that remains there, that goes beyond all our thoughts, emotions and sensations. But we can just stop for just for a split second and then we have another thought or emotion or something coming up and that's completely fine. It's not about getting rid of any of our data. It's just basically to introduce ourselves that there is something about us that is always stable there, always present, open intelligence shining forth at all times, equally. It's equally present. If we are having a thought or emotion, open intelligence is always the ground of it, inseparable from, from all our data. So with a short moment, we acknowledge that. We acknowledge that st stability, that, that open intelligence that is always present with each short moment. And how we do, we do a short moment is by just allowing our, our body and mind to rest deeply completely for a split second stopping that train of thought that is going on the description about how about an emotion for example we just stop right there for a split second and recognize open intelligence is still there shining forth and these short moments we repeat again and again whenever we naturally remember to do so and we can do that doing our day today for example if we are new and have never tried a short moment we can test it out today Whenever something come up, comes up, we just stop for a second and recognize that there's this stable presence always there. And then maybe again our thoughts and everything goes off again. And then whenever we naturally remember to do so, we take another short moment. And more and more we see that these short moments, they just grow longer and longer. We remember them more and more often during our day. In the beginning, I just when I first started, I just remembered a few times a day. But soon it, it became more and more um, often that I could remember these short moments. So I tested it out. I gave myself a period of time where I just tested it out completely. Came back to the meetings every day because that always also supported me to take short moments, to feel that that open intelligence is always present at all times. Even if I don't recognize it, open intelligence is always present. It's the, it's the ground of everything. And that's what we're get, getting familiar with in this training, that open intelligence is always there, equally and evenly, not going anywhere. Even if we are completely lost in our data streams, open intelligence is unaffected, always there. So that's a big relief. And so what we, what we do then is just continuing on continuing on taking short moments and recognizing that. That nothing about our experience needs to change to recognize open intelligence. No, none of our data streams need to change. I always thought I needed certain kind of data streams to recognize open intelligence, but as open intelligence is shining forth all data streams, we don't need a specific set of data streams. All our data streams that we have are our perfect entry point 
to recognize that open intelligence is always on. Perfect. Whatever comes up for you, it's a perfect opportunity and perfect training ground for us to train up. Because all we, are just, we were just trained basically to, to emphasize and put more focus on the description of everything that is going on. And we haven't noticed maybe that there's an underlying presence that is always stable, always at ease, always well. Our well-being and, and life satisfaction always ensured in each and every moment. And, and for me it's also, it, it, I always wanted to have, yeah, to have different data and I, my motivation to come to this training was I want to have different data and I want my data to disappear. That was my motivation in coming here, my total motivation in taking short moments. So it, it's perfect. Also that we can allow it to be as it is, that we want our data to disappear. It's just the next data stream that comes up, allowing it to be as it is, continuing on. Nothing needs to change with that as well. And for me that was actually very powerful because that really made me to come back, wanting my data to disappear and having different data. That's what made me come back again and again and again. And after a while I realized, wow, I don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to try to get rid of my data or having different data. Because I feel more and more ease within all data, with all my thoughts and emotions, becoming comfortable within them. And when the thought comes up, I want a different one, allowing that to be as it is. Just another, another thought appearing, not needing to give any um, attention to that either. Any so more uh, significance or any, yeah, it's, it doesn't have any meaning in and of itself, like any other data it could be. So that we can really apply it to each and every single data stream. And, and, and in that way we are of complete support for, for everyone, just by each short moment that we take, in each short moment that we, we really rest deeply and allow everything to be as it is. We are not allowing it only for our data streams, we are allowing it for everyone. It's the most precious gift that we can give another human being, not taking them for their data streams and just seeing them as completely okay as they are. In that the other person can also completely relax and see it within themselves. So just by our example in that, we are of immense support to ourselves and others, completely. It's the most precious gift we can give another human being, to not seeing them as their data streams. I find that such a relief, because I could see it within myself that I'm not my data, and I can see it within others now. And, and that's so beautiful because we really, then we can really be there for, for other people, really connect deeply and allowing them also to rest deeply in, in their own true nature, where everything is complete, where nothing is wrong with anyone, with ourselves, with an other person. We are all perfect as we are. When I heard that the first time, wow, it felt so soothing because I had so many data streams about myself that I didn't like, that I thought are not perfect, that I'm wrong or I needed to change. And when I first, the first time that all my data are perfect as they are, it just soothed my entire being completely. That I didn't need to change or fix myself or analyze everything that was going on within my life all the thoughts and emotions, N not needing to do that anymore. I was so into that, analyzing everything about myself, why I feel um, sad, why I feel tired, why I feel happy, always afraid that this will go away if I feel happy, that oh, maybe I will feel sad tomorrow, or, you know, all kinds of things, and thinking about why it's like that. We don't know about why data appear for for us. They just appear unpredictable. And we don't need to try to figure it out. 
we can just apply a short moment right there. Nothing needs to be figured out why a data is there and why not. We will know everything about the data stream from the power of open intelligence. Everything that we need to know about something, we will just know through relying on open intelligence. I always thought I, I need to know and analyze everything back to let that my data will resolve. When I have analyzed it enough, then it will go. But it never really worked. It never really worked. Just by allowing it to be as it is, we see how data just resolve and undo themselves. And then they maybe come up again, but then they go again, like a line drawn in water. They don't leave any trace. No data leaves any trace. They just come, appear for a while, and then they just go. The only responsibility we have there is how we want to deal with our data when they are there or when they are not there. How do we want to deal with that? And we have that choice, and that's what we are introduced here, that choice in how we want to use our mind. And it's really up to each one of us to take up on that choice, that responsibility that we have. That choice that is such a powerful choice. And that choice that really unites us as a human species together, where we can live together in the most powerful and potent way as human beings. That's what we all want to. We want to live harmoniously with each other and be completely powerful, beneficial, and potent in our lives. We all want that so much, and here we are introduced to a way that we can really get, bring that about within ourselves and others to the maximum extent. And there, I mean, there's no maximum. It's just always ongoing and always just inexhaustibly expanding this potency and, and, and power to be of benefit in every moment to ourselves and others. It becomes so natural, just opening up our strengths, gifts and talents and, and, and showing us how we can, can um, contribute them to the world, seeing exactly what is needed, seeing exactly what is needed, how we can benefit our world together. There's so much energy wasted in trying to fix everything or getting angry about injustice and, 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 and all these kind of, where we put all our energy about into that. When we allow it to be as it is and using that energy to do something, to do something about injustice, we all have the power, but from a balanced view and clear seeing of what is really needed how we can really use our energy and power to, to support the world and make it a better place for us all to live in and to live in how we are meant to be living in. We all have the power together to do that. But it starts with really within us, finding the peace and, and complete empowerment within us to really contribute everything to the world to be of complete benefit and clear seeing in every moment. And we all have the power to do so. And we not only have the power to do so, we even have, have this, the complete um, instruction set to bring that about within ourselves, right here, available to everyone. No one left out. Everyone completely included there.